Hello everyone and welcome to Soaring Eagles Reading, Writing, and Spelling Program. Our program was specifically made for elementary school students to learn to read, write, and spell specifically if they are dyslexic, but this program will work for non-dyslexic students as well. The program can be used by older students but the games and books were oriented towards younger students. This program uses phonics, spelling rules, mnemonics like songs and rhymes, kinesthetic styles like sand writing, play-doh, and other toys for hands-on approach, as well as word mapping for aiding in memorization. The program is laid out on YouTube in individual videos for individual lessons. They are in order of the way they should be watched. If you watch them out of order, you'll get confused because the videos build on each other to teach you one thing at a time. You should not move on to the next video until you have properly mastered the video that you're on at the time. If you already know some aspects of reading, writing, and spelling, then you can find where you should start by starting at the beginning and watching each video until you find a video that you haven't already learned. Then you'll know that that should be your starting point. In the videos, the speaker is speaking slowly and clearly to make sure that every learner can understand, but if it's not going fast enough for you, choose the option on your YouTube to speed up the video so that it goes faster. This is the scope and sequence of our program. We will also have a link in the description of this video where you can find all of these papers that are helpful to use the program. You can print them out on your own and use them at home. First, it goes over left and right direction. Then it will move on to letter sounds. Then it moves on to letter shapes with capital and lower case. Next, it covers letter pronunciation then letter tracing and writing, vowels and consonants and what the difference between those two are, digraphs, consonant blends, and then CVC words. Next comes unit syllables, open and closed syllables. It teaches you to rhyme, syllable division, then it covers a minimum of amount of sight words to begin with, Simple sentence writing, simple decodable books. A decodable book is a book that only uses words that you've already learned to decode. It will not use words that you have not learned to decode yet. Next is the intro to orthographic mapping. This is this worksheet. You'll have a link to that in the description as well and you can put it behind plastic and use dry erase on it. But this is your word mapping sheet that helps with spelling and memorization through repetition. Uh, after that is introduction of reading and spelling rules. Then you will get more decodable books added and decodable sentence added for them to practice writing and those will get more advanced as you move through the rules. You can see you'll have papers to print out on unit syllables, syllable division, different types of syllables, more advanced syllable division. And you'll find your word mapping sheet. You'll also find this quick reference guide to your spelling and reading rules. 
Now you could cut this up and make bookmarks out of it if you wanted to, laminate them uh, so they're more sturdy. Uh, but this would be your go-to sheet as you're moving through the program because these are your most used reading and spelling rules. So it's a quick reference as you're doing your work to just quickly look back if you've forgotten a rule so that you can remember what those rules are, the ones that are most used. These are not all the rules, but they're the ones that are most used, especially for the early readers, the younger readers at the beginning of the program. Next we'll have the, well the first rule they go over is the kiss the cat rule and then the floss rule, the cry baby rule, the catch lunch rule, the milk truck rule, the magic E rule, Next comes the rabbit rule, then the bossy R, then the consonant plus LE rule. After that comes vowel teams. You'll have long I, long O, long A, long U, long E, and short E. Then you'll have a video on the EA vowel teams that make odd sounds, and it will move on into diphthongs, which are vowel teams that make odd sounds, not your usual vowel sounds. Then it will go over more sight words. Then it will work on beginning story writing with story prompts. Then it will cover a more difficult rule, which is the dodge huge jumping giraffe rule, covering all of your j sounds, whether it's made with a J or a G. Then it will cover schwa sounds. Then it will cover contractions. And then it will cover plurals, prefixes, suffixes, and roots. You can use the program on your smart TV, computer, tablet, or even your cell phone. If you use it on your tablet or cell phone, uh, you can actually put plastic over your cell phone and use the worksheets on YouTube and write directly on the tablet or cell phone. There is a video that talks about how you can do that with uh, different types of plastic laminate if you would like to watch it. But the screens basically look the same whether you're on whatever device you're on. You've got your subscribe button to the right, and then your the name of the site over here to the left, and then all the videos that have been recently posted will be across the top. You can see, you can flip through all the recently posted, but that is not them in order. That's just in order of whatever was posted last, so that's not the order of the videos that you want to go to. And note that there are other videos on this website teaching things other than just reading. So well, what you want to do is go down here to the dyslexic tutoring video folder and then click on that. And this will give you the list of cool. nothing Cut but everything the learning videos for reading, writing, and spelling. So you can see that the top video is the first one, cool. and then you go down to the next video and the next video, and they're all in order the way that you're supposed to watch them. It's also better if you will do these along with your children instead of just leaving them by themselves to do them. And it 
is highly recommended that the children do this with the video. Don't just have them watch the video. They need to do it themselves along with me. It's the hands-on activities that really help to implant this into their brains to help with the memory. But you can see they're all in order. They're all very clearly labeled about what they are. So when you find the video that you're on next, you just click that video, highlight it, and click it to open. It may have a commercial, so you can just skip past the commercial and then start watching the video. This is a video on word mapping. The next word is stew, stew. Mom made a stew. So like I said, if it's if it's soup. going too slow for you, if I'm talking Stew. too slow for you, you just want to pick Stew. the settings Stew. right here, and then you go down to speed. Right now it's set to normal, Stew. so when I click Good on sound. speed, One, two, and I can Stew. go just a little bit faster, Stew. and then you'll notice the video starts going a little bit faster. Isn't it? I can click speed again, and I can go a little bit Is faster. I can go really, really Ooh. fast, but that's Ooh. probably going to make it hard to understand. Me. So, Ooh. if you go any Ooh. faster, maybe 1.25, maybe 1.5 would be all right. Ooh. And if you need more time, Ooh. and it maybe Ooh. the original is Ooh. going too fast, you can slow it down to 0.75. Don't say ooh when you're eating mom's stew, though. She might get offended. Because good old hell, that stew. So that's how you change the speed. You can the is click if likes old, it's on the videos new. right there with a the thumbs new. up. Or go back to the main channel. Mm -hmm. Just on the little mm -hmm. button here. So go new. to main channel or you can subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Ooh. Go to main channel. And like I said, once again, from the main channel, you're going to see all the learning videos, not just the reading, writing, and spelling ones. So if you just want to see the ones for reading, writing, and spelling, you want to go down to the folders. Now, this is a folder full of sensory learning ideas that you can do at home. And this is the folder full of reading videos. And there's some other folders down here. But this is the specific one that you want to be on in order to just do the reading program in order the way that it was set up. To have everything organized in one kit that is travel friendly as well. Now there... I hope that's helpful to you. Make sure you take your time moving through each video so that you learn it really well before you move on to the next subject. I hope you enjoy the program because reading opens up the whole world to you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.